in this one we're going to be looking at the link uh, skip list which is problem number one two zero six it's it's specified as a hard one i would tend to agree it's kind of hard especially if you have not seen any data structure like that so read the problem is essentially saying o of log n for searching via inside the linked lists so basically to give you an idea skip list is a multi-level linked list you have multiple linked lists in a, in a way that at least the visual way where you can go at different levels and you can have a different list uh, and you can traverse them differently uh, but the whole idea is that you would start from the top level and then if you find a node then you would come down all the way to the bottom for that level and then you can return that so that that pointer could be used for either searching or could be inserting or removing so you'll see more of that in a moment uh, but in general the idea is you will have let's say that I'm going to show you the transition so the way we specify a skip list is you define a head pointer head pointer is uh, int max minus infinity and the reason why we get the values is because it's it's a competitive uh, um, link list so you do comparison at every node and then you figure out the right value to insert so you certainly want to have some values which make sense for comparison so when you start the construction of the skip list you want to have something of this sort so basically a double linked list where you have a head and you have a, a tail pointer and these are pointed to each other and as you can uh, see this the nodes look like doubly and they also have top and bottom pointers so when you construct the first level you don't use the up and down but this is what you use but as in when we decide by flipping on the flipping a coin that we need to raise the level we'll use up and down point and you're going to see in a moment so let's say this is the first level uh, you know this is we just constructed the skip list and you're looking for an element so if you're looking for an element of course you wouldn't find it so you're going to be inserting some something inserting here so when you insert the element basically heads next is going to be here the previous of this is here and this this is here and then this is here now when you insert this element here then basically depending on the flip of the coin we may be asking should we go to another level and the way it happens is you would if the the level the element that you're inserting doesn't already have level on the top of it you're gonna go to the left till you find the one which has a level so and then uh, since it doesn't have any level right now what we do is we would create a new level and we can say uh, let's say this is H and this is H1 and T1 so we would connect these two and then H1's down is going to be H and H up is going to be H1 likewise here and then we'll move the head pointer to here and the tail pointer to here now once we construct uh, another level then since we are still inserting we're in the middle of the insertion we'll say okay fine we have another node here which is the same level let's say we're inserting one and then you'll point this to here and then this so basically you know when you insert an element go to the leftmost which has uh, another level uh, and then if there was another level then you're going to be adding that element there now let's take a look at the code and i will come back to here for explanation so the code i submitted uh, in this code you can see entry as i mentioned next previous up and down and there's a value for that so this is what a node looks like and uh, and then the skip list will have a head and a tail pointer and a height of minus one uh, before we do any initialization and then for random you have um, this is flipping the coin so as soon as you as soon as you construct the skip list you have build level build level is basically constructing the head and the tail pointer so when you start this you just have a head like head is going to be equal to not tail so head is h and tail is t so basically, like I said here, you just, in that step, when you construct this, you would just have head 
and tail and then they will be pointing to each other just this turbulent list so this is what happens when you build this now let's go to the add so when you add an element so what you do is you look for the nearest value so let's take a look at what happens in the nearest in the nearest you are starting from the uh, head and you look for the value that is less than or equal to the target and if you find a value then you go down uh, and then you go all the way to the down at the bottom and return that node uh, if you're just doing your search that for that you could just return from the top that's going to be optimal um, coming all the way down it i i think the coming all the way down the impact of that is how many levels you have so that's going to be added uh, complexity for coming down but i think what happens is it just makes the life much easier and i think i'll say it's uh, if it's a reasonable constant value so i wouldn't worry about it but at least in this case you come all the way down and then uh, we get the point to the bottom and you know it just makes the life easier for uh, erasing inserting and writing a common method for everything so you'll see that in a moment so so basically uh, to give you one more idea about how this method works so you start with the head pointer and then if you check the right value is the has the value less than equal to target then you go to the right and if this condition doesn't satisfy you come down and try the same thing so here we start with h h right is t and this value is positive infinity so since we cannot go we'll try to go come down which is null so we'll stop right here so if we were to add an in a node one here we'll look we'll add a node we should add a node here but let's say if there was a node one and we were looking for that node so let's say i add a node one here so um, this first condition is going to be satisfied because h dot uh, h dot right that value is less than or equal to the target so it will let me go to this node but th this one is going to fail so it's uh, i'll try to come down because it doesn't have any down nodes so i'm just going to st stop right there and this element is going to be returned so this is how search works so this is lookup nearest so if you don't find the exact match you just return the nearest entry and uh, for and we find the nearest entry with, where we need to insert and as you remember we search from less than equal to so our insert is going to happen on the right side so we create a new entry that needs to be inserted and there's a method add to chain and add to chain what this does is uh, it's just going to insert this new entry next to the given entry so basically uh, like I said, you're adding one here and you're heading after H. So basically take this pointer point to that, this pointer point to that and this pointer. So this is what we do here. Add to chain. Now we start with the I equals zero and then this is the logic where we decide we need to raise the level or not. So since I is zero and then the height was zero to start with, then we decide to build the level because there's no further level. So we build the level here. And again, this is happening with the flipping the coin. So what we try to do is if the entry where we are adding doesn't have any level up. So since it's a new fresh entry here one, um, it doesn't have any level up. What we'll try is now we'll try to go on the left side and see if that has any level up. So in this scenario, what will happen is uh, just to demonstrate, demonstrate that method, what happened is we added H T and then let's say it was like that and we added one here now the level I was 0 H was 0 so we decided to raise the level so H here T here and this got connected this is this is connected now we're saying go to the left till you find something has up since we build another level head is going to be connected again one more thing i wanted to call out that new head is going to be pointing to this and the tail is going to be pointing so you go up here to this head and then this is going to be your entry object so you move to the entry and then you find this up so this is going to be this head now and then you create a new entry and then add to the chain so essentially you take this another copy of this one and you're going to be adding here 
so now this is connected to this and since you went on the left side the first left entry which had a level you don't really need to worry about other complications because that's going to be the only entry that needs to be connected here so and then uh, you would certainly want to link these two entries together from up and down and then you set the new entry as the this entry so that you can continue looping through till uh, this returns false so basically you are raising the level based on flipping of the coin so this is what the ad is for erase um, what we do is we find the nearest entry and then basically um, so let's say we are trying to delete one so since the lookup nearest returns you the bottom entry so what you'll do is you'll point this to this point this to this so that removes this node now you go up and do the same thing here so that's the loop here that's precisely the loop so one more time the entry will have next previous up down and the value so basically a node can be connected all four sides up down left right and then you build the level when the um, you know the loop value that you're looking at is equal to the level so that means you need to raise the level so when you raise the level you always have a new head and tail and you switch the main instance level head and tail to the one that you create but and you also link to the uh, the new heads down as the existing head and the existing heads up as that and then you basically you're going to keep it connected now look up nearest you basically find the nearest value which is less than equal to target you come down all the way and return that node uh, you could have stopped as soon as you find the top one uh, that should be fine for look up nearest but basically the code to come down all the way to the bottom for adding will be written that needs to be written by add or the delete method so this basically takes care of that by adding additional complexity of the depth or the height now erase like i mentioned you just come from bottom and delete all while going up add is slightly tricky but i think it's okay so what you do is you create a new entry and then you add to the chain and link it and then basically you flip the coin and if i is equal to height then you build another level and you go on the left side if the new entry that you're adding doesn't have any level up then you go on the left the first left which has one level up you go that you create the entry add to the chain and then you connect these two entries these two entries are connected as well and then this entry becomes the new entry to be connected when you raise the level up so with this i did submit and i think i got 92 percent so i'm going to share this code on lead code as well thanks a lot for watching hopefully it helped you learn something new thank you